Calabash Alley, a street in my country, reflections of my society. Galvanized keeping is an everyday thing. Who ain't seen, does say they see. Calabash Alley is all a we. Calabash Alley, where marbles are pitted. Hundred hole and cack for bulky. Gossip and cussing is really no big thing. Youths pelting green mango at mango tree. Calabash Alley is all a we. Calabash Alley, a natural kind of bacchanal, running jockey in the canal. We listen to the calypso, we just prefer, we like it so. Calabash Alley is the place to be. Calabash Alley is the place to be. Danny, it's time to deck up. Wake up, Danny. Morning, Auntie Shirley. Yes, Danny, hurry up. Your tea ready, waiting for you on the table. Where's the hurry this morning? Let Come me... Come on, Let me go now. It's time to get up. It's time to make love. You ain't even say your prayers yet. And you say it for me already? I tell you, I just only pray for myself these days. Come on, Dudu. Let me go now. You forget what today is. What today is? It's the day you have to go for the interview. Gosh, give me a chance. They, they, they bring the water from the cabin? Long time. But you know how the yard crowded? And all them daughters Miss Dorothy have had to bathe. If them get in that bathroom before me, my dog's dead. Them just had to bathe for half an hour each. Look and see if anybody bathing now. now. I see Papa George went in just now. If any of them girls get in before me, I got to take a dry cleaner now. No, you have to bathe and shave this morning. I put your bucket after Papa George on, so you ride it. I'm going in the latrine. Only hope none of them neighbors there. <laughs> Miss Murray went in just now. She go spend the whole morning in there now. And in the letter, they tell me to be punctual. You look at the bathroom and the latrine. Whichever one come out first, I go operate the suit. Miss Murray coming out now. Hurry up! Where my fans? Look at there! I'm gone. Papa George coming out the bathroom. Of course, I'll go mad this morning. Morning, Olga. Morning, Mabel. Go home to your face. Somebody round there up already. But why are you so hypocrite? You pretending that you ain't know that Tina and me had a showdown this morning. No, Mabel. Me and my husband Ralph had an argument. I feel that's why I'm here, thing. You know that Tina is a real jammed woman. Look now, Mabel. I want to meddle in all your business at all. But Olga, all I tell is that Tina's a jammed. I wouldn't say she's a jammed if I didn't know she was a jammed. You see, in the yard we live in, it got all types in the barracks, and I don't want to pick sides. You know what will happen when fight break loose in the yard? You will be the first one to get killed. But I don't trouble nobody. That's exactly why. You're not on my side, and I'm not on Tina's side, right? But as if it's a war, the people in Calabash are to move along. You mean to quarrel some? Listen to Olga. 
you dropping words for me. Because Tina and me had a cussing off this morning. You saying the people to call some. You know what happened? No, and I don't want to know either. Well, whether you want to hear it or not, I go tell you. You're living in the barracks, and it's just like when are we? So you've got to know what's happening. If you say so, what go do? Listen. Last night, my sweet man come by me. And we sit down on the bed, talking and making jokes. I happen to look up, and I see the cardboard that I put by the bars between Tina room and mine moving. Then I see Tina big eye peeping through a hole. She must have spot me, so she move away. So I put the chair on top of the table and I went up. And you know it's a hole for true? This morning she's saying she know nothing about that. So I had to build she upside down. You think I go peep at anybody? Or try to listen to what they're saying when they're in the room? That is carrying my cautiousness too far now. Like it's only a trickle of water we got in this morning.